Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing K-1 visas from Thailand, yet again discussing advanced parole and adjustment of status. So what are we talking about here? Once a K-1 visa is issued, and that's its own process, we discussed that, video, uh, we discussed that process in many other videos on this channel, but once a K-1 is issued, now you're going to be dealing with adjustment of status on the other side in the United States to get that fiancé after marriage, presumably, into green card status, so into lawful permanent residence. That process is called adjustment of status. At the present time, that process can take a prolonged period, months, in some cases years. Now, I haven't seen a lot of cases where we're talking multi-years, but months is not an uncommon thing when you're talking about adjustment of status these days. It's very unfortunate, as I remember a time when it literally was a matter of weeks. You know, we'd send people over to the United States, get them married, file their adjustment, and they'd be sorted out in six to eight weeks, and they had their green card. In their infinite wisdom, and I do not understand for the life of me why Department of Homeland Security has really made the adjustment process quite a prolonged and obtuse process, if I'm being honest. I think a lot of this occurred during the Trump administration, not getting political here, not being partisan, simply making an observation that everything in immigration, especially in the last two years of that administration, seemed to just get more difficult, convoluted, obtuse, and it just, you know, wasn't a good situation. And that's not a great credit to the present administration because they haven't seemed to really have improved upon anything. If anything, it seems like it's getting a little bit worse, which brings up the issue of advanced parole. Advanced parole is a travel document that can be obtained so that a foreign national can not leave the country, leave the United States, and not extinguish their underlying K-1 visa and the underlying process of getting a green card. Now, the point of this video, though, is all, it's almost one of these videos where I need to explain to people, you need to get your mind right about how this is all going to play out, and you need to get into the proper paradigm for how adjustment of status and how advanced parole works. People will often ask me, well, what's the time frame? What, how, exa how exactly long do I have to remain in America? I don't know. You know, it, it, it varies from case to case. There is no set time frame. Moreover, there is no optimal situation here. You know, I, I see a lot of people that are like, well, I'm going to get her in. It's usually a her. I'm going to get my fiance in, get married, and then she needs to go right back. We got She's got to leave the country. We got to get, we got to get, her, uh, get her back to Thailand, whatever. Fair enough, but understand, U.S. immigration doesn't care about that. They, they care about just processing paperwork, you know, sort of on a first-come, first-served basis. I'd love to say there seems to be rhyme or reason to why they do what they do, but at the end of the day, they really don't, under, at the end of the day, they don't care what your plans are. And you're at the, the mercy of the system, less so than they're at any kind of mercy of your being upset or your plans. That's not to say that I think that this is right. That's not to say that I don't think there are times when the immigration system is so far out of line, they basically have to be sued back into line. And we've discussed other videos about how that works. Generally speaking, we don't handle those types of cases out here because we're really not in a great position to do so. But that being said, I don't disagree with the notion of filing you know, filing lawsuits against the government when they just seem to be dragging their feet, especially on purpose, which in a lot of cases these days seems to be the case. That being said, understand that, yeah, there is an ability to come and go from the United States while the K-1 is converting, if you will, is adjusting into green card status. That's called advanced parole. But as far as timing of how this stuff all processes out, it's very difficult to predict, as all cases are at the end of the day different.